Hello and welcome to English Learning Station. Today's lesson is on technical definitions. One important feature of technical writing is clarity. Clear writing begins with clear thinking. And clear thinking begins with an understanding of what all the terms mean. Therefore, clear writing depends on definitions that both audience and writer understand. Unless you're sure that your audience knows the exact or special meaning you intend, always define a term the first time you use it. Definitions either explain a term that is specialized or unfamiliar to an audience, or they convey your exact definition of a word that has more than one meaning. For instance, engineers talk about a number of specialized terms such as pre-stressed concrete or torque. For people outside the field, these terms must be defined. Some people are unaware that even certain familiar terms such as disability, guarantee, etc. take on a very special meaning in some contexts. For instance, what guarantee means in one situation is not necessarily what it means in another. Therefore, it is essential to define a term when we are using it for the first time in a particular context. Now let us explore the purpose of technical definitions. Technical definitions describe and define new products and services. Secondly, they introduce new information to readers in a clear and effective manner. And finally, technical definitions allow experts and specialists to communicate with a more generalized audience. There are three types of technical definitions, namely definitions that describe, definitions that compare and contrast, and definitions that classify. Now let us learn each one in detail. The first type of definition is the definition that describes. These definitions work by describing what the term looks like feels like, sounds like, or smells like. These definitions appeal to the reader's visual senses by describing the size, shape, and appearance. These definitions also describe what the thing does or how it is used and to do what purpose. Now let us look at a small example, the term aileron. Here, Looking at the definition, it is very clear that it is a definition that basically describes the term. Aileron is a small, slender, hinged section on the outer portion of a wing used to control an aircraft's rolling and banking movements. Here, the first sentence of the definition probably describes the shape and the size of aileron, the term aileron. It is small, slender, hinged section. And then it goes about explaining what is the purpose of aileron. It is used to control an aircraft's rolling and banking movements. So this is a perfect example for a definition that describes. Next comes the definition that compares and contrasts. These definitions give similarities or differences between two subjects. They often compare or contrast something unfamiliar with something that the audience already know. These definitions provide a frame of reference by giving a particular context. For example, when we go about defining the term flash drive, we not only describe the appearance and structure of the flash drive, 
We also go about comparing and contrasting flash drive with something that is already familiar with the audience such as the floppy disk. So the definition goes like this. A flash drive is a small, lightweight, portable, universal serial bus device that allows users to store, carry and transfer programs and files, much like the older 3.5 inch floppy disk. The flash drive, however, differs from the older floppy disks as it is much smaller and more durable and contains no internal moving parts. So from this definition, we understand that the term flash drive is compared and contrasted with the term floppy disk which the audience are more familiar with already. So this is an example for a definition that compares and contrasts. The third type of definition is the definitions that classify. These definitions categorize a term within a larger group in order to provide a context or association. For example, if I go about talking about the word ocelot without clearly classifying it within a larger group, the audience or the listener might find it difficult to understand what ocelot really is. Therefore, I try explaining the term ocelot or defining the term ocelot with the phrase a kind of wild cat. The moment the reader goes through this phrase, an ocelot is a kind of wild cat, then it becomes easier for the audience to connect and relate and understand the term better. So this is an example for a definition that classifies. But then an ideal definition is one that includes the description of the term followed by the requisite comparison and contrast made with the familiar term known already to the audience along with the classification and the application. So this is what an ideal definition will include. There are two types of definitions based on the levels of details in a definition. They are parenthetical definitions and sentence definitions. Many a times, the meaning of a word can be clarified by using a more familiar synonym or a clarifying phrase. Parenthetical definitions clarify the meaning of a word or a phrase by using a more familiar word or phrase within parenthesis. Parenthetical definition are as used to explain words that need clarification but are not the main focus of the document. If a recommendation is to be written to the office higher up, in such a scenario, a statement such as the given example, our company should invest in creating sinistral office supplies to meet the growing market demand. Now, the term sinistral is something new and it has to be defined. But then, we don't have to give a sentence long definition for the term sinistral. It is enough if we simply write left handed for better understanding or to ensure clarity for the term sinistral in this statement. So such a definition which is simply including a word or a phrase within parenthesis is called parenthetical definition which ensures better clarity in terms of defining the word or phrase. Let us look at a few more examples. A parenthetical definition of leaching field 
might be adequate in a progress report to a client whose house you're building. But a public health report titled Water Contamination from Leaching Field would call for a clear definition. Therefore, the leaching field requires crushed stone. In this statement, we include the phrase sieve-like drainage area within parenthesis immediately after leaching field. And what is presented within the parenthesis is nothing but parenthetical definition. Another example, the trees in the site are mostly deciduous. Here, the term deciduous is defined by using a phrase within parenthesis, namely shedding foliage at the season's end. So by including this small phrase immediately next to the term within brackets ensures better clarity. And this is what we call as parenthetical definition. There are times when a few words are not enough to explain a technical term. In such cases, the definition provided needs to be more extensive. Sentence definitions can provide the additional information needed to help increase comprehension. Sentence definitions are an explanation of a word using a sentence. The sentence definition includes the word which is being defined, along with the class to which the word belongs to and the feature that distinguishes the term from other words along with the use or application of the word that is explained in the definition. Here are a few examples for sentence definition. In all these definitions, the following are included. First, the term followed by the class or category under which this particular term can be grouped under. And finally, the distinguishing features, which includes the description of the product, followed by a comparison and contrast, if necessary, with an already familiar term to the audience. And finally, the application or use of the particular term which is defined. So all of this makes a perfect sentence definition. The first example here is carburetor, which is the term. Carburetor is a mixing device. The phrase mixing device is nothing but the class or category under which this term can be placed. Carburetor is a mixing device in a gasoline engine that blends air and fuel into a vapor for combustion within the cylinders. Here, next to mixing device, the rest of the sentence includes the distinguishing feature which explains clearly what the term carburetor means. So this is a perfect example for sentence definition. The next example is defining the term diabetes. Diabetes is a metabolic disease caused by a disorder of pituitary gland or pancreas and characterized by excessive urination, persistent thirst and inability to metabolize sugar. So this is a perfect example for sentence definition. Likewise, the terms stress fiber optics and tumor are also given for the benefit of the readers. Now let us do a small exercise. Here are a list of terms for which we will have to draft the sentence definition. The first word is generator. A simple sentence definition for the term generator is a generator is a device which converts mechanical energy into electrical energy or a generator is a device used to produce electricity. The second term is computer. 
A computer is an electronic programmable machine that accepts the inputs from the user, processes them according to the said instructions, and produces the desired output. The third term is flowchart. A flowchart is a visual representation which shows the sequence of steps in a program in order to solve a problem on a computer. Like this, we go about defining every term in a very simple means which includes the basic description, the class under which you can categorize this term, apart from the application or use of that particular device or gadget which is defined. With this, we come to the end of our session on technical definitions. If you have any doubts, please post it in the comment section. Thank you.